are any medical objects, you know, MRI or, or an X-ray machine. But tonight I thought I'd be able to tell you about some of the darker sides of, of our collecting, collections at the Science Museum. Um, so, uh, like, uh, basically, locked away. Um, sorry, I'll start again. <laughs> locked away um, in a labyrinthine building um, called Blythe House near Olympia. We keep over 200,000 200, objects um, at the store, from the weird to the wonderful. I'll show you a picture. The building, as you can see from on the corridors of life, it's a really dark, kind of brooding space, filled from the floor to the ceiling with really very weird objects, some very, very deeply disturbing. And so tonight I thought I'd bring some of these objects to show you tonight, to sort of show you some of the kind of the weirder stuff that you might not expect the Science Museum to actually look after and collect. Um, and what the, the thing about Blythe House is it's really atmospheric when you go. It's, um, it feels really institutional, it's very tiled everywhere. Um, when you go to keep, most of the medical collections are situated in the basement and it's really, really spooky. Uh, two of my colleagues, conservators, um, they, they really felt like ghostly presences in one of the, one of the rooms in the basement, so I was sort of running them out whenever I had to get anything from them nowadays. Um, and so, the, so the first sort of secret I want to reveal to you is that all the Science Museum collections are, you know, they're the product of obsession. <laughs> Absolutely. And not just obsession. And the obsession of this